Hi everyone, in the front of me I've got Samsung Galaxy F14 and let me share with you how to add the fingerprint to this device. So first of all, <clears throat> we have to find and open the settings. And then let's scroll in order to find security and privacy. Now let's go to the lock screen and tap on the fingerprints. Just tap on continue. And as you can see, we've been transferred to the step in which we have to add the screen lock, which may be quite confusing, but let me explain. Um, we have to add the screen lock. Uh, of course, if you've got one, you will be just transferred to another step and you will be able to add the fingerprint. If not, you really have to do it right now. You won't be able to add the fingerprint without the screen lock. It is because that if for some reason the fingerprint sensor won't work, then you will still be able to unlock your device with the pattern pin or password. Um, if um, Thanks to this, actually, uh, you will not have to go through the hard, hard reset operation, which uh, actually wipes out all of the data. So it's uh, really crucial to have an, uh, the backup uh, screen lock. So I will pick the pattern. Of course, it's up to you which option you'd like to use. Let me draw it, redraw it and confirm. And right now, as you can see, we are in this section, in this panel of adding the fingerprint. We've got the animation and the instruction. So we have to scan our fingerprint by putting it on the sensor, which is located on the side of our device on the power button. Uh, so let me put my finger on it. And right now we have to do it multiple times in order to add the fingerprint fully. And be patient because in this model, uh, it may take a while because this sensor is quite picky, which is of course good because thanks to this, um, it is more sensitive, right? And uh, it's harder to cheat on it, uh, but uh, it may be quite annoying during adding the fingerprints. So just be patient and take your time. All right, we did it. <laughs> so uh, here you can add another fingerprint if you want to, if not, just up on done. Uh, no. All right, and here we've got the section with the fingerprints. This is the fingerprint we just added. Of course, we can tap on it and rename it. So why not? Let me do it. Uh, you can remove it also, uh, as you probably saw in the right upper corner, there was the option to remove the fingerprint. You can add another um, and you can check added fingerprints, uh, which simply means that if you've got a lot of fingerprints added, I believe you can add up to five different fingerprints. Uh, then you can simply enter this option and scan particular fingerprints in order to check if your device will actually recognize them. So obviously in my case, it does it does not have any sense because I uh, do have only one fingerprint added. But if you will have any, then you can try to, to check this test option. Uh, here you can decide for what you want to use the fingerprint for. So here we've got the, the fingerprint unlock, which is defaultly turned on. You've got uh, also the option, the fingerprint always on, which simply means that you'll be, you'll be able to unlock your device just by tapping, just by actually putting your uh, finger on the power button. Here you can also decide if you want to use it to sign into the websites or use it for the Samsung account verification. As I said, up to you. I'm not going to mark uh, any of those options. Uh, I just want to check if it is working. So let me lock the device and let's try to unlock it. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine. The device is unblocked, which simply means that we just successfully added the fingerprint to it. So basically that's all. This is how to add the fingerprint in your Samsung Galaxy F14. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. And if it was, please hit the subscribe button and leave the thumbs up.